all the way back around the back of his head. His two red eyes, two red eyes is all you can see, just as red as you could paint them. And he stopped us dead in our tracks. He said, I want y'all to get your butts out of here, get on my airplane and go home and get my Talladega car ready. So now these drivers all take helicopter out of the racetrack because it's cool. He did it because he's, he, you know, that's how he had to leave the racetrack. All right, dude. You, you feel comfortable listening in front of me? Everything's fine. People kept saying, Davey, take your glasses off, take your glasses off. And, and Davey's like, you don't really want me to do that. Yeah, let's see your eyes. Take them off. If y'all want to see it, I'll show them to you, but it's ugly. Davey smiled and he said, I told you, you didn't want to see this. <laughs> yes. In half a season, Davey Allison suffered broken ribs, a concussion, a broken forearm and wrist. And each time, he returned to the starting grid the next week. His right forearm has two plates in it to hold it together. He's got pins across the wrist bones to hold him in position, and he's got a broken collarbone. How long can you go today? Can't think of any better place to be, Mike. It's great therapy to be back in the car today, and the guys at the shop have done a great job bouncing back from the adversity this week, and we want to win this championship, and that's why I'm here today. We feel like if we did anything other than our normal game plan, we're actually taken away from our chances of winning or our chances of winning the championship. The Robert Yates Racing Team had survived a season's worth of drama during the first half of 1992. In August, they were hit with another blow. Davy Allison's younger brother Clifford was tragically killed while practicing for a nationwide series race in Michigan. We get in touch with Davy, and you know he's he's very upset and he's very torn up. Obviously, his brother had been killed. Well, immediately, Robert and I started talking to him. What do you want to do? Who do you want us to put in this race car? thinking he's gonna go back to Hueytown. He said, let me tell you guys something. Yeah, I am hurting more than you can ever imagine, but I'm here to do a job, and I'm gonna do that job, and I'm gonna do it to the best of my ability, and then when we finish this race on Sunday, hopefully winning this race, then we'll go home, and that's when we'll take care of business with my brother. I mean, we're here to win this thing. This man's gonna drive his heart out to win it. We worked <laughs> our butts off to win it. It was a very, very hard, you know, situation for him. Shows up on Sunday, gets in that thing, and he did what he always does, was 110%. We got out of there and, and, and went and buried Clifford. Davy was like my second son. We would have discussions about life, about religion, things that probably you didn't want to talk to your dad about. He didn't look like uh, death was the end of, of everything. He was realistic about it. Probably the toughest time of my life, uh, not knowing what to do and having to regain control of my emotions. And I knew that he would want me to go on and do my job. It was kind of a double-edged sword. Racing had taken his brother, but yet that was, that was his life. And I think he just felt like he needed to wrap himself up in, in racing and do the absolute best he could, possibly in honor of his brother. Obviously, it had to affect him to some degree. We would had a little bit of a run there after that that we didn't click off as many great finishes as we'd like. We've got one car spinning, Davey Allison. He loops it again, and the car comes to a halt in the grass. Oh, Davey Allison is in the wall, coming off turn two, some heavy damage to the Avalon board. Yeah, I was off a little bit tonight, and, and I made the mistakes. I think I'm going to go home and regroup and get with these guys, you know, and try to figure out what it's going to take to get myself back going again. Over the course of August and early September, we were almost digressing a little bit because we weren't making our stuff better. We were just focused on making Davy comfortable and just trying to get to the end of each race. In the same token, Bill Elliott and that 11 bunch, they were getting better. So I think they were getting better, 
we were getting worse, and obviously they had stretched it out on us. The points, Bill Elliott is on top by 109 over Allison. Coming into the last eight or 10 races, because of everything Davey had gone through, the media viewpoint, I think, was, I don't think he's going to win this. Davey handled controversy better than anybody. He didn't chew people out. He didn't get upset. He didn't cuss. He didn't tell you how sorry a pit crew you got. He would almost laugh about it. I just think we appreciate where we were, but we didn't point fingers. When the schedule hit September, Elliot and the 11 began to sputter. As the races counted down, so too did the points margin. We never gave up. The crew, I swear, I don't, I don't think we even knew any better. Like, okay, well, we'll just come back. Believe me, there is no quit here in this half of team. We don't even have a clock in our shop. We just work whatever it takes. Hey, man, we got to fight for this. This is why we're here. That effort and everybody's energy never wavered. It was actually really cool. Thanks, Thanks guys. They just buckled down and they decided, let's take this a race at a time and let's see where we come out. Be smart. Lock it down, lock it down. Dodge Rex. Left, left. Whoa, right there. No penalties on pit road. Let's go, let's go. Finish the race. Okay, buddy, okay. We're going to win this thing. Out of turn four. Davey Allison will win it. Yeah! Way to go, guys! We won the race at Phoenix, the next to the last race, and that's actually where we took the points lead back. In your face, baby! Woo! Right. I remember him sitting in the car in Victory Lane and just like a kid on Christmas. He was just that excited. And it hit him, you know what? We could go to Atlanta, finish anywhere in the top five, and no matter what anybody else does, we can win this thing. This crowd ever to watch a sporting event in the state of Georgia is gathered here to witness the crowning of a champion. Mathematically, six drivers had a shot at the championship. For Allison, the numbers were simple. Finish fifth or better and win the cup. But in a season that showed no mercy, the finale would follow suit. Let oh, no! Davey got through. We ran over something, put a hole in the nose. I was making patches and orchestrating how to patch the hole. Ryan Pemberton now had luck was working in unison. And we came back from that. We're like, all right, now we're, we're right where we need to be. You pull out all stops in the final race. I just remember thinking, there's no way we can keep up with all of what's going on here today. Wow, you can't get much closer than this. It was changing lap after lap after lap as far as who was in the point lead. Every single spot counts, and every single heart is beating. Rather quickly here in the Allison Penny, guys. And then on lap 254 of 328, it's just like it stopped. Oh, oh, oh look at this. Davey Allison is in the crash. Davey Allison's long, tough, emotional season oh. has come to an end. The thing that I remember the most about it is how cool Davey Allison was. He had every right to be kicking and screaming right then. Maybe throw a helmet or something, but he didn't do it. Everybody at Robert Yates Racing deserves a lot better than this. And, you know, they deserve to win that championship this year, and we didn't get it, so we'll just go back and we'll get ready for next year, and we'll come out and try again. It just wasn't meant to be. With a smile on his face. Man, oh, man. That's something to be said for that guy. Resilient to the end, the 28 never gave in. Alan Kulwicki beat Bill Elliott to capture the cup, leaving one team immortal and another brokenhearted. I don't believe I've ever remember my son Doug Yates crying, but I remember him crying that day, walking out of the racetrack, and he was in tears. And that's, you know, I'd been there lost so many times that, you know, I sort of used to it. But for Doug, it just killed me. To go through everything that our race team had went through, uh, we never questioned. 
while we didn't win that championship. We knew we would have many more years to win a championship. Now, I've got to say, about three or four months later, it became a little cloudier why we didn't win that championship because that's obviously when we lost Davy Allison. Allison's death in July of 1993 shocked a nation. His down-home persona matched with unfulfilled potential keep him in the hearts of fans and his team to this day. There's a lot of new fans. Maybe they'll watch this and they'll, they'll have a better appreciation for what he was going to do and what he was going to become. Davey will have altered the record books, for sure. That's why we're talking about him 20 years later.